Barbados' future lies in developing and sustaining an enterprising public and private sector that is actively engaged in the global economy. And these are not just words strung together, but rather perhaps succinctly uh, represent how I feel on the future of this island. And we must ask ourselves, how do we make this happen? I believe we must start to foster a culture of entrepreneurship in our society. At home and at school, we must teach our kids that it's okay to emerge being your own boss, to take risks, to get up and to go again when you fail, not to be distracted by near series and to see the world as your oyster. And many of you in this room gathered here this morning are where you are, I believe, because you were encouraged to be that way. We must celebrate our entrepreneurs regardless of color of skin, religion, age, gender, socioeconomic status, or type of business endeavor. We must also be prepared to invest in and otherwise support each other's enterprises. We must stop thinking that local enterprises are second rated. I also hold the view that we as the government must continue to break down the walls that restrict entrepreneurship in Barbados. We must cut out the lot of red tape, paper shuffling and indecisiveness, penalize the blockers to progress or get them to hell out of the system. And that includes politicians, by the way. And feel free to include myself in that if you so we must seriously stop striving to be the most over-regulated society in the Western world. Rules are necessary, but we must ease up on some of the regulations, especially those enshrined in law for an era long gone. Now, my ministry is reviewing the insolvency and bankruptcy legislation of Barbados to give businesses a real second chance without significant harm to creditors. Our culture of kicking businesses and business people when they are done must end. There will always be some rules and vagabonds, but most entrepreneurs do want to pay their bills and do want to grow their businesses. Likewise, we must also help some folks to know when it's time to, to quit and, and get rid of business prospects. On the issue of financing, which I think is very critical for any entrepreneur to succeed, our financing institutions are all profitable in the midst of a long and deep recession. Therefore, we must ask ourselves if they are doing enough uh, to share the risks of investing entrepreneurs in Barbados by investing in them and their ideas. Perhaps I leave that for you to discuss there later this morning. I also say to you, colleagues, that let us venture into new areas instead of being copycats or doing things because somebody else is doing it or because our grandfather did it particularly way many years ago. If that attitude prevail over time, we will still be traversing the world on steamships, communicating via Morse code, and believing that aliens live on the moon. Obviously, those who had the uh, initiative and, and bonus to, to, to dare to be different have proven otherwise. We must also, as a society, embrace our creative minds whether in technology, art, drama, music, politics, and science. We must shift focus on using other people's apps, programs, or systems, and focus a bit more on developing our own and selling them to the world. Don't just use other people's renewable energy designs, but design our own. Don't just buy the fashion off 34th uh, Street in Manhattan, but sell our own designs to the world stage. Don't just dance to other people's music, but rather have the world move their music. Simply put, we in Barbados must not just borrow, we must invent. We are still spending too much money on providing graduates in the same area of focus as we did 30 years ago without instilling in them a desire to take their fundamental knowledge and become movers and shakers on the world stage. As well, I don't think we invest enough in the areas and the discipline that really and truly will transform this nation. We are still training too much for dreams that do not connect with realities. Another point, we worry so much about foreign exchange, and believe me, you, you must have some justifiable reasons now to worry. But we do worry so much about foreign exchange, and not about saving or earning foreign exchange through entrepreneurship in Barbados. 
So don't just buy on Amazon, sell on Amazon, eBay, or Alibaba. Don't, for those in the tourism sector, I say to you, don't just curse Airbnb. See how we can work with them to earn more for in exchange for ordinary Barbadian entrepreneurs in the tourism industry without compromising on a product. Now these are just a few points of the kind of ecosystem that we must foster in Barbados to create and sustain entrepreneurship as a main driver of real economic and social change in our fair land. I go a step further and say that there must be a greater level of entrepreneurship within our firms and organizations. Perhaps this is referred to as entrepreneurship. For disruptive technology and systems to occur within our modern enterprises, we must foster a culture that embraces those who think and act outside of the norm. Those who look inside at their weaknesses and take the time and the risk to find sustainable solutions. Entrepreneurship is so much needed in both the public and private sector in Barbados. We need a culture and a cadre of workers who are prepared to make a positive difference and be transformational, not just transactional. So we have to work together on both greater entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship. These are two factors that will truly allow us, ladies and gentlemen, to make a paradigm shift in how we operate in this economy and in the world. It is not beyond our reach. I think we have the advantage of size to truly put ourselves up and onwards. But we need to first be prepared to be true to ourselves, be prepared to unleash our full potential, and be fully prepared not to be deterred from what we have to do. I'm satisfied that in five years' time, with the right kind of leadership in both the public and private sector, public and private sector reforms, and the will of our nation, Barbados will prosper. We no longer have the luxury of time nor the abundance of wealth, but we have a history and a future which must meet today, and in so doing, allow us to chart the right path. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope I've given you a few thoughts, a few pointers in terms of, of uh, entrepreneurship and what I perceive to be some of the challenges and the opportunities that lie therein. Um, I'm a firm believer in entrepreneurship. I've tried my hands at several ventures. Some have succeeded financially as manifested by what the tax, spirit, the tax man took from me. I still keep saving. And some, of course, have failed miserably. But I became a stronger and more resilient person for it. Not everyone will be an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. But we must all do our part to encourage them as we will all benefit in their success.